Using both Dia Pen and Dia Gun together is a very effective and reliable obturation system. With its ergonomic cordless design, Dia Pen and Dia Gun offer unparalleled performance of both warm vertical compaction and obturation. DiaPen supports warm vertical compaction and has proven to be effective as an integral part of downpack obturation system. Supported techniques. Softening the root canal filling material during the root canal treatment. Spreading the root canal filling material laterally and vertically. Cutting the root canal filling material. Compacting the root canal filling material using with the heat. The Dia Pen kit includes a handpiece, a charger base, two pen tips, sizes fine and fine medium, two silicone covers, a power adapter, and a power cord. Place the silicone cover over the top of the handpiece prior to use. The silicone cover can prevent damage to the device from debris. Choose a suitable pen tip size from the box. Included in the box are sizes fine and fine medium pen tips. Insert the pen tip into the handpiece until it securely snaps into place. The pen tip can be adjusted into six different positions. After inserting the pen tip, press and hold the power button for one second to turn on the device. The default setting for tip size is XFF, which is indicated by the XFF indicator on the handpiece. Press the tip button to change the tip setting. Press once will change the tip size to the FM, M, ML indicators will light up. If the tip size is not set properly, temperature will not be correct for your intended use. Please make sure that the tip size displayed is the size you intend to use. The default setting for temperature is medium, which is indicated by the M indicator on the handpiece. Press the temp button, which is above the power button, to change the temperature setting. Low setting has the temperature of 170 degrees Celsius. Medium setting has the temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. And high setting has the temperature of 220 degrees Celsius. Press once will change the temperature to the high setting and both the L and M indicators will light up. Press once more. The temperature will change to the low setting indicator above the L will light up. Press one more time will change the setting back to medium. After setting the temperature, press the operation button. Pressing the operation button will initiate the pen tip to heat up. Releasing the button will stop the heat and pen tip temperature will cool down. A beep will sound to signal that the tip is heating up. The indicator above the operation button will light up when the tip is heating up and or cooling down. Green light indicates that the tip is inserted in the handpiece correctly and that the temperature is below 100 degrees Celsius. Blinking green light indicates that the pen tip is overheated and that the tip may not be inserted into the handpiece correctly. Red light indicates that the tip is activated. Blinking red light indicates that it is time to recharge the battery. Caution! Before using the handpiece, check that charging is complete and the handpiece is ready for use. Make sure pen tips and silicone cover are clean and undamaged before each use. Clean and disinfect pen tips and silicone cover using an autoclave before each treatment. Clean and remove debris from tips and silicone covers and autoclave them as soon as possible after each use. Use only pen tips and other accessories supplied with DiaPen device. Activated pen tips can reach the temperature of 220 degrees Celsius or slightly higher.
avoid contact with the patient and operator. Use of rubber dam is highly recommended to prevent injury during the treatment. When pen tips need to be removed after treatment, turn the power off and wait for at least one minute until the pen tip has cooled down. This device does not work when tip is not placed in the handpiece and or not connected properly. Do not use the heated and activated tips in the canal space for more than two seconds. After resetting or replacing the battery pack, Diapen will return to factory default setting. Diagun is the cordless obturation system which offers fast and easy obturation delivery. With this effective obturation system and technique, optimum results are achieved and Diagun provides the high performance and reliable results. Diagun features wireless and compact design allows complete freedom of movement, reliable gouda percha filling to the desired level without delay, fast and continuous flow of filling tightly seals the canal, variable temperature settings 160 degrees Celsius, 180 degrees Celsius and 200 degrees Celsius allow precise control of obturation flow, quick heating system, temperature reaches 200 degrees Celsius within 25 seconds. Ergonomically designed 360 degree swivel needle offers improved access. Thinner needle can easily fill the narrow root canal. The Dia Gun Kit includes a handpiece, a charger base, four disposable 23 gauge gun tips, a plunger set with four plunger O-rings, two safety caps, a multi-purpose wrench, a bottle of Gouda Percha obturators, a scrubbing brush, and a power adapter and a power cord. Before using Diagun for the first time, it is extremely important to press the reset button, located at the bottom of the Diagun handpiece. Failure to do so will result in Diagon malfunctioning in the future. Insert the gun tip into the handpiece. Use the multi-purpose wrench to securely tighten the gun tip into place. Place the safety cap on top of the heat chamber to prevent possible injuries and burns. Use the multi-purpose wrench to bend the tip to the desired shape and angle. Bending the gun tip with hand will result damages to the tip. Therefore, the multi-purpose wrench must be used. Open the loading slot and pull the plunger back. Insert one Gouda Percha pellet into the loading slot. Inserting more than one pellet may damage the system. Close the loading slot cover and push the inserted Gouda Perch obturator into the heat chamber using the plunger. Press and hold the power button for one second to turn on the device. The temperature will automatically default to the previous set temperature, 160 degrees Celsius. Display shows the current heating temperature as it heats up. It takes approximately 25 seconds to reach the highest temperature setting of 200 degrees Celsius. Press the power button again to select the preset temperature of 160 degrees Celsius, 180 degrees Celsius, or 200 degrees Celsius. Once the temperature is starting to increase to the selected temperature, it is not possible to adjust the temperature anymore. Adjusting the preset temperature must be done right after the device is turned on or after the initial selected temperature has been reached. Once the selected temperature is reached, insert the gun tip into the root canal and begin squeezing the trigger to fill the canal with melted Gouda Percha obturator. Caution! Before using the handpiece, Check that charging is complete and the handpiece is ready for use. Check that the disposable gun tips and heat chamber are clean and undamaged before each use.
as plunger is completely inserted, do not force to pull trigger, which may result in device damage. Do not reuse needles. After obturation, remove disposable gun tips with wrench completely. After each use, remove all visible soil from Gouda Percha obturator in the heat chamber with scrubbing brush. Melt the residual at 160 degrees Celsius and clean it all. Use one pellet of Gouda Percha obturator only. Many pellets can damage the device. To reduce the injury of patient or operator, always place the safety cap on during use. Gun tip should be tightened moderately so that there is no leakage or flow out of Gouda Percha obturator. Over tightening the tip may lead to damage to the tip and or handpiece. The tip can be adjusted and bent to the desired degree by the supplied wrench. Do not bend the needle by force. To prevent injury when the gun tip is activated, avoid contact with the patient and operator. When the gun tip needs to be removed after obturation, wait at least three minutes until the tip has been cooled down. After use, push the plunger backwards to the start position. There is a possibility that the plunger might not move back because the remaining filling material is frozen inside. In this case, operate the device and move plunger back slowly. Use a soft towel dampened with mild detergent or rubbing alcohol to clean the surface of the diapen handpiece. The surface of the charger contacts and the charger base can be cleaned with a cotton ball dampened with alcohol. Remove all visible soil from the pen tip. Then steam autoclave at 132 degrees Celsius for 12 minutes. Clean, disinfect, inspect, and steam sterilize the pen tip using a steam autoclave before and after each use. The silicone cover should be autoclaved before and after each use. Use a soft towel dampened with mild detergent or rubbing alcohol to clean the surface of the Dia gun handpiece. The surface of the charger contacts and the charger base can be cleaned with a cotton ball dampened with alcohol. Remove the gun tip with the multi-purpose wrench. Insert the scrubbing brush into the heat chamber and move it back and forth until all visible soil from the melted Gouda Percha obturator has been cleaned. Turn on Diagun and adjust the temperature to 160 degrees Celsius in order to soften and remove the remaining Gouda Percha. Always steam autoclave the safety cap before and after each use. The plunger can be cleaned by wiping it with a soft towel dampened with alcohol.